boys, the cornerback position went from being one of the worst ones in the game to one of the most stacked. Now, we have been getting blessed not only in the Crucible promo, Ultimate Legends, and then obviously this Fan Appreciation promo just dropped some bangers at corner. And I can't forget the Division Dynasty. There are so many good corners that just came out. So if you guys enjoy top 10, so make sure you hit that like, hit the subscribe, and let's just jump right into number 10 here. Boys, to prove it at number 10, this shows you how good the list is. AJ Terrell is still an amazing card in this game, but this just shows you how good the game and how good this position is becoming this, like this late in the year, I guess you could say. But I will say, like I said, there's zone meta, there's a man meta, and also a hybrid meta this late in the year. It was mainly zone throughout the year, but AJ Terrell, I would say, is probably still on the zone side. He is 6'1", pretty good stats across the board. I mean, stats really... At the end of the year, you guys know most of the time, as long as you're above 95 and all your stats, speed, as long as you're 98 plus, you're going to be fine out there, really. When we come to abilities, he has built-in pick artists, and these Crucible cards got so many zero APs. So I think the one thing most people are just running on him is the he has to play outside corner, which is another kind of knock on him because he doesn't get deep zone. He gets only deep out, so you probably don't want to run him at safety. But deep out zone right there, then you can go ahead and get your mid zone right here. And then I also think, yeah, you can go ahead and get like flat zone if you wanted. You can go ahead and get bench press. You can run man abilities too if you really wanted to. This card is definitely a super hybrid card. He gets a lot of zero APs. The one thing I will say, it sucks right now. I mean, these cards are amazing, don't get me wrong. But we are starting to get guys that get one X Factor passive ability. There's some guys that have two X Factor passive abilities. So AJ Terrell, although he's really, really good, we are getting elite endgame cards right now in the game that you'll see later in this list. Number nine, I feel like I still have to include Kyle Pitts somewhere on here. He is obviously a tall quarter. He's the tallest guy in this list at six foot six. And you will notice it out there. His stats are amazing as well. They basically look like the exact same thing as you got you saw on AJ Terrell. The one thing you'll notice is the player at 88. I will say I didn't particularly notice that, and I I use this card for like two to three weeks. I have no clue. I've heard some people say he plays terrible. He played amazing for me in a full zone scheme, but I will say at six foot six and also getting three zero APs, you can't really argue him like to not. I, I don't know. It's going to be very hard to not keep a guy like this on the list, right? Pick artist, and then obviously when he come over here, he gets his deep out zone and mid zone all for zero. He's only an outside corner, like I said earlier, but it's crazy. He gets better discounted abilities than a golden ticket like Deion Sanders, the greatest corner of all time, gets a golden ticket, and he's worse than an out of position Kyle Pitts 97 card. Wild. It's absolutely wild Madden we're playing here. All right, boys, at number eight, this is where it starts to get insane. These guys have, like, infinite zero APs. If you guys have not seen the fan appreciation cards, they have so many zero APs built in. So, Ty Law right here. I will say, like I said, the only negative with a card like Ty Law, uh, maybe he's, his height a little bit, but he doesn't come with any X factors built in. That really is his only negative. But you can see zero AP right here. Zero AP. Zero AP. You can run basically every single KO in the game. You can come over here. I think you... The, the thing that sucks with him is that you can't really run too much of a hybrid scheme with him I guess I guess you could if you really wanted to it'd be a little tough you'd have to run like deep route right here medium route but really I don't know I, I think Ty Lowell you could do some crazy crazy stuff with him because all of his buckets are zero AP no matter what you want to run but I will say the best thing for corners is having built in X factors like bottleneck is becoming one of the best X factors in the game you guys already know about universal coverage Ty Lowell sadly doesn't have any of those but that just shows you how insane this list is that he is sitting here at number eight you know what i mean number seven we got the night train lane who is basically asante samuel but just a little bit taller right you're getting also 99 speed right there you're six foot one and then he's also always one of the best corners in the box if we come down here 99 hit power he has 95 block shed he is always absolutely amazing sadly if he doesn't have an ability to throw them out the way vanguard will still pancake him every time but as you guys know zero ap everywhere i will say he feels a little bit more on the you know what i mean like he's kind of more more base towards man over here but you can still get away with like using the deep out zone and like i said he's a perfect hybrid option if you really wanted to or in his zero aps you could go pick artists you could go like flat zone right here and then like maybe acro and then go all zone if you wanted to be an all zone guy but i think being six foot one not having deep zone is a little bit of a loss but like i said outside corner he's gonna be completely fine anyways i think night train lane is an amazing card he's a little overpriced right now like 1.2 for a non-ltd but he's a dog man he always is good in madden so at number six, we got our guy Tariq Woolen, and I will say, obviously, he's a 98, but I am level eight, and I think you can get up to, like, level 12 right now. I am making this video for probably, like, the next week. You'll be able to get him within a week. So, Tariq Woolen, I think the first level you can get him is level 16, so I wanted to include him here. He is a free corner in the compass, and he's actually a lot better than they actually described. You can't see him right now, but, like, his major stat, when you put the token in, he's up to 99 speed. He's obviously six foot four, but you can still see his zero APs, boys. Look at this. You literally can get all of 
of these for zero. It's insane. It is insane, insane, insane. I will say the only thing that really does suck is they're not throwing deep zone on these cards. Why are we getting only deep out on a lot of these cards? It is kind of annoying, but you can go ahead and stack that with mid zone. You get secure tackler. I believe. I don't actually. I don't know if he gets secure tackler, but you could stack that with literally everything. Flat zone if you wanted. I think he gets another bucket right here too. Yeah. Yeah, boys. Four zero APs on a six foot four ninety nine sweet corner, and he's free. Tariq Woolen's pretty tough on this list. Boys, at number five, as you guys know, there is a new meta coming around, and you guys probably have already seen the big game on YouTube. K-Mac and Henry, that's kind of the thing that everybody keeps bringing up on my Twitch. I've seen it in the YouTube comments. There was a game where you guys, Henry's like known as like the best Madden player, but they played against bottleneck there's a bottleneck meta in the game right now and it is blowing up the reason why i might not have asante higher on this list despite him having one of the best x-factors in the game built in is because not everybody has all man corners i think you have to run cover zero or at least a two-man under scheme to make a guy like asante like really really good you know he is not very good in zone despite being a zone archetype corner he does come with reinforcement which is really nice but if you're running zone he has no mid zone to discount it you know what i mean so He's basically a man corner here, unless you want to overpay for three AP mid zone plus one AP here. You're not doing that late game. He's a man corner. He's definitely a man corner. But you can see you get one step ahead to follow them around with the reinforcement. They'll knock out everything. And then obviously you can go with pick artist. You can go with bench press, tackle supreme. This card is absolutely amazing. And bottleneck is broken. It's absolutely broken. You guys have seen probably my last couple gameplays. I've been running cover zero with bottlenecks. It is disgusting. At number four, we have his counterpart, but the thing with Darrell Revis is he's better for the hybrid scheme. He could really play both sides. I, he's very good in zone. He's very good in man. He's arguably should be higher on this list, I think you could argue, but the top four corners, I would argue even Asante could be in there. The top four corners are ridiculous. They're on a tier of their own. 5'11 is his really only knock. He's basically amazing statistically. He has bottleneck and also, instead of reinforced he has universal which is one step ahead and every ko built in the best x factor probably in the game to pair with bottleneck so he's insane regardless if you want to run zone he's good there too he gets don't use one step ahead because like i said he already has it but he gets secure tackler and his pick artist if you want film study too you could run that but darrell revis insane man this card has been a must have he's now to 330k right now should be on everybody's roster man i don't care you got to save up for this card Number three, we have Mark Bavaro. Mark Bavaro is the best corner in the game for like a week there, but we got some dogs coming in at one and two. Absolute dogs. He is six foot four, a giant. 99 speed. He's obviously amazing statistically. I don't know if my guy, but yeah, 96 block shed, 94 hit power. I don't know exactly what he boosted. I didn't watch his YouTube video. My guy D Gurdy, he made this card. I, I, I don't know. I think maybe tackling, but this card's insane regardless. Go Browns, by the way. My guy, D. Gertie, who made this, is a Browns fan as well. But he gets reinforcement built in. He gets the mid zone and then also the DR. And you don't need the mid zone. You don't need, you don't need the deep zone. The reason why you use the mid zone to pair with reinforcement for most, most of you guys know by now, but reinforcement doesn't give you the reaction boost that Universal or a KO does, so you need mid zone to pair with it. But on top of that, you can go ahead and throw your Avalanche or the Lurk Artist right here. You can go, or you can even overpay for pick artists over here, regardless. He is an absolute unit. Mark Bavaro is one of the best DBs in the game. Height, abilities, he is insane, man. The only thing that sucks is, is if you want to run, if you want to run the man scheme, it's not really the best for him, but still, he could probably get away with it with the reinforcement. At number two, yes, number two, we just got a goat at number one. We just got an absolute goat at number one. He literally came out today, or he's possible to get. I don't know if he's 100% possible to get. We'll, we'll get to there. We'll get there. But at number two, Charvarius War, 99 speed, 99 basically in every single stat you need right there. He is six foot one, so he comes with a great height as well. Pick artist built in. But this is where he gets insane, boys. He fits every scheme possible. The zone scheme, the cover zero bottleneck scheme. You can run, you can run two man under. You could do it all, right? So if you want to run zone, universal, right? You want to run two man under, boom, universal. If you want to run cover zero, you can run bottleneck right here with every single KO for man. That's what I've been doing. I've been running bottleneck, and then I run uh one step ahead in every man KO on him. That is probably the best for cover zero. But he also could play the zone meta the best. You could stack that with literally everything over here, acrobat bench press i mean you can do it all there are so many options charvarius ward is insane it's crazy to think that he's at number two because wait till you see this guy this card is absolutely wild and he is free Kyrie jackson i don't know what the non-ltd version looks like entirely but i will say the ltd the top 1000 version which hopefully you guys should be grinding for if you are still grinding the game this late in the year he is 99 speed six foot four basically amazing statistically but look at this boys this is where he's insane Look, 
Yes, every single one. So you can rock. Universal Reinforcement. If you guys do not know, Reinforcement's KOs, and it also destroys run blocks as well. So he's going to be amazing in the run block. But look, he gets that in two buckets, three buckets. I think he gets, yeah, three buckets of it. And then look on top of that, boys. More zero. Bro, I'm telling you, two zero APs, three zero AP X Factors. He is by far cornerback one in the game. He's Tariq Woolen, but on crack. Literally Tariq Woolen, but on crack. That's all I can really say about Kyrie Jackson. All right, boys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to comment down below which cornerback trio or cornerback quad stack, I guess. Whatever you guys running right now in the game. Are you man? Are you two man under? Are you zone? What are you rocking right now in the game? I love all reading all the comments, especially with zone and the, the man kind of being like, you know, at a twist right now at the end of the year. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace out, boys.